Blue Whales and Buttercups by Megan Goss, Jonathan Curley, and Ashley Chase. Contents How Organisms Are Different How Organisms Are Similar All Organisms Are Related Glossary How Organisms Are Different there are so many different kinds of animals, plants, and other organisms on Earth. There are polar bears, redwood trees, and nine-armed sea stars. Scientists put organisms into groups called species. Earth has more species than you might expect. Even types of organisms that might seem like one species are often divided into different species. For example, there are actually many different species of whales. There are blue whales, humpback whales, gray whales, and more. Millions of different species of organisms live on Earth. Organisms can have very different traits. A trait is anything you can observe about an organism, including the way it looks or acts. Some animals have fur and others have feathers. Some plants have flowers and others do not. Some animals protect themselves by running fast and others protect themselves by biting. We call these differences variation. Let's look at some examples of variation. Organisms grow to different sizes. Compared to people, elephants are huge. Still, it would take about 20 big elephants to match the weight of just one blue whale. The biggest trees may weigh more than 40 blue whales. You can find huge size variation even between organisms and similar species. For example, the largest species of bat is about 10 times bigger than the smallest species of bat. This is a close-up of the sharp point of a pin. Imagine just how tiny that mite is sitting on it. These are tiny plant-like organisms that float in the ocean. They're too small to see without a microscope. This tree is one of the largest living things on Earth. Difference in size is not the only kind of variation among organisms on Earth. Organisms get around in different ways. All animals move, but different animals often move very differently. Animals may walk, run, fly, swim, or slide. Plants don't move around the way animals do, but their seeds get from place to place in different ways. We can see lots of variation in the many ways that different organisms get around. This sea anemone stays in one place for most of its life. Still, it waves its body around to catch food. This snake slides across the sand by moving its body from side to side. An octopus moves by shooting a jet of water out of its body. The jet of water moves the octopus quickly. Burrs are seeds covered with tiny hooks. They get caught in an animal fur. Animals carry the seeds to new places. This is the seed of a palm tree. These seeds can float from island to island. Organisms are different in other ways too. Organisms protect themselves in different ways. Organisms are often in danger of being eaten. Many animals eat plants and some hunt and eat other animals. Organisms protect themselves from danger in lots of different ways. These differences are examples of variation. In times of danger, sea cucumbers can shoot out their guts. They grow the guts back later. The trait of color helps this flat fish hide. The color of the fish matches the color of the sands. Coral snakes can kill bigger animals with just a bite. The bright stripes on a coral snake warn animals away. 
Boxwood leaves smell bad to deer. Deer won't eat them. This harmless milk snake looks a lot like a dangerous coral snake. Animals stay away from it, too. Looking like a coral snake protects the milk snake. Even organisms that are very similar to one another show important variation. Even in one species, organisms are different. In this book so far, we have been looking at variations between organisms in different species. When you compare different species, you can find lots of variation. However, even within the same species, organisms can have different traits. For example, horses are all part of the same species, but they have different colors, sizes, and other traits. Variation is there, even in one species. These pigeons are all the same species, but they show lots of variation in markings. These small, large leaf cutter ants are all the same species. They show variation in size. Some of these big eye fish have more red color and some have more silver. However, they are all the same species. These wild horses are all the same species too. What variation do they show? In spite of their differences in color and number of spots, these ladybugs are all the same species. What differences can you see and observe in this group of giraffe? These cactuses have grown in different shapes, but they are all the same species of cactus. It's easy to observe how living things are different. Living things are the same in important ways, too. Noticing how living things are similar can be harder. Still, it is very useful. How organisms are similar. Different species are related to one another. Scientists who study a species often ask, which other species is this species closely related to? To show how closely related different species are, scientists use many kinds of evidence. They get some of their evidence by observing the traits of species. They compare those traits. When two species have similar traits, it may be evidence that they are related. Still, different species may have similar traits without being closely related. For example, a red bird and a red flower both have the trait of being red. This does not mean that they are closely related. Scientists look at lots of evidence before they say which species are closely related. Wolf, fox, wild dog. There's a lot of evidence that these animals are all closely related to one another. Can you observe any traits they have in common? Look at the two organisms below. Which one is more closely related to the red cardinal above? Scientists put related organisms into groups. One group is plants. Plants make their own food using sunlight. Another group is animals. Animals eat plants, other animals, or both. Plants and animals. These very big groups are made up of similar, smaller groups. One smaller group is all the animals that have four limbs. Limbs are legs, arms, and wings. Some organisms have four limbs. Animals with four limbs are one group of related organisms. Even though a lion may not look like a frog, these animals have an important trait in common, a body with four limbs. A human and a rat are also similar in this way. The fact that all these animals have four limbs is one piece of evidence scientists use to show that they are all related. A bird's wing is a kind of limb too. Birds have four limbs, two legs and two wings. The wing of a bird has the same basic bones as your arm. 
these limb bones are evidence that birds belong in the same group as lions, frogs, rats, humans, and others animals with four limbs. Herons have four limbs, two wings, and two legs. They use their long legs to wade in the water where they hunt for fish. Sloths have traits that make it easy for them to hang upside down, four limbs with long claws. Frogs have four limbs. This one is using its strong back legs to swim. Geckos have four limbs with toes that stick to walls and trees. The group of animals with four limbs is a big group. It contains many smaller groups. Some organisms have feathers. A smaller, more closely related group is made up of birds. All birds have feathers to cover them. This trait is similar among all birds. That similarity is an important piece of evidence that all birds are related. Birds do not all look alike though. Each species of bird has feathers that make it look different from other birds. Colorful feathers help some birds attract mates. Brown and green feathers help other birds hide in trees. Frog mouth birds have feathers that are almost like whiskers. These feathers help the birds feel for tiny animals to eat. Owls have wing feathers that let them fly without making any noise. The mice they catch can't hear them coming. Ducks have feathers that keep them dry. This trait helps them stay warm in cold weather. Let's look at an even smaller and more closely related group with even more traits in common. Some organisms are blue jays. The category of birds can be divided up into many different species such as blue jays. A species is a group of organisms that are very closely related. The organisms in a species have important traits in common. For example, blue jays all have blue wings with black markings. They have strong feet for perching on branches. Their similar traits are evidence that blue jays are all closely related. Blue jays can make many different calls. Blue jays have strong pointy beaks. Blue jays were named for their trait of bright blue feathers. Like many other bird species, blue jays can use their wings to fly through the air. Blue jays use their strong pointy beaks for catching worms and other small animals. Blue jays can also break open seeds with their strong pointy beaks. They eat both plants and animals. Blue jays build nests in trees. They raise baby blue jays in the nests. Blue jays share the trait of nest making with many other bird species. This bird has many traits that are similar to the blue jay. However, it is a different species. What traits do you notice that are different in this bird? There are millions of different species living on Earth. Still, all organisms on Earth are similar in at least one way. All organisms are related. There is one way that all organisms are the same. They are all made of tiny parts called cells. Some organisms have only one cell. Other organisms are made of many cells. Whether they are big or small, plant or animal, all living things are made of tiny cells. Cells are the basic parts that make up organisms. This whole living thing is one tiny cell. It is much too small to see without a microscope. This is a buttercup plant shown under a microscope. You can see the tiny cells that make up the plant. 
Rabbits are also made up of tiny cells. These are cells from a rabbit shown under a microscope. You are made of cells too. These are human fat cells shown under a microscope. Being made of cells is a trait that all organisms have in common. This is evidence that all organisms are related to one another. Even though organisms can be so different, we are all related. Glossary. Cells, tiny parts that make up living things. Compare to notice how two or more things are alike or different. Evidence, information that supports an answer to a question. Microscope, a tool that makes very small things look bigger. Observe, to use any of the five senses to gather information about something. Organism, a living thing such as a plant or animal. Related, coming from the same family or group of living things. Species, a group of organisms that are closely related to each other. Trait, something that can be observed about an organism such as color or size. Variation, differences.